The Confucius Institutes around the world are all different flavours. That's the most important thing to understand about them, is that they're not one type. So our Confucius Institute here is creative arts focused. Our um, focus is to engage with musicians and fine arts visual artists in the creative arts space. There are a couple of features of the Charles Darwin University Confucius Institute that make it unique in the Australian context and probably in the world context. Darwin is very different to all other cities in Australia, particularly being small, one gets the sense of community in conjunction with the tropical lifestyle, the easy living, huge coastline but also magnificent environment with many national parks, important national parks closer on our doorstep. Darwin in the far north is Australia's only tropical harbour city and it is closer to destinations in Asia than any other Australian capitals. Its geographic location has contributed to the significant growth and development that has occurred over the last 10 years. Darwin has a relative small population with just over 100,000 people, yet it is culturally very diverse with a multicultural population of over 100 nationalities. It is also home to the first Australians, who are one of the oldest living populations in the world. This rich cultural diversity is enhanced by a spectacular and equally amazing and beautiful natural environment. It's also unique in that we have two Chinese partners, Anwei Normal University and Hainan University. These two partners together give us really very, very fruitful opportunities for collaboration. The importance of a Confucius Institute here at Charles Darwin University is that it's given us the opportunity to extend the scope of our teaching, obviously, in Chinese. Now, from April 2013, we run the first Chinese language programs aiming to promote the oral Chinese skills for local people. We run nearly four terms of the short-term Chinese classes. There's also opportunities for us to engage with local schools, to engage with teachers of Chinese in schools, and to really have a much broader scope and remit than we do strictly as a university teaching a subject area, which is Chinese. It's quite difficult to hold the brush right and um, to get the strokes correct. So this is a very famous calligraphy. Uh, many Chinese beginners, calligraphy beginners, start to learn Chinese calligraphy followed his suit. Dot, horizontal stroke, vertical stroke, just in this white character. The Chinese corner activities are a series of activities which are held by our Confucius Institute. The activities happen every two weeks and calligraphy is also included. The purpose of holding these types of activities is to let people have to know more about Chinese culture and have the chance to practice their Chinese. Mm.
，但是写写字对中国人写字跟西方人不一样，这这些笔画是一一个也是呃美美美术。对对对，呃，但是英文的词、呃、可能原来是这样的，五百年以前是这样的，但是现在不。And then press, and then lift gradually. 为什么会选择这次来参加汉语奖的活动呢？嗯，嗯，因为中中文是我的爱好。嗯，我说汉语说的越来越好，但是写汉字写的不好。呃，因为我们现在经常有对话，呃，有很多嗯呃新的新的点字的工具，呃，比如说我们都都可都可以上网跟朋友聊天，要聊天软件。或者是用呃智能手机，但是、呃、我们现现代呃很少用笔画写字。And、uh, and if you have some problem, you have you want to talk with me on Chinese calligraphy, I will always in my office. So welcome you to my office anytime. Last year. We organized ten students from Charles Darwin University to go to Anhui Normal University to study intensive Chinese language for about、uh, 25 days. When they are in China, they not only expose themselves to the Chinese language, but also to know more about the present China. They can enjoy Chinese food. They can visit friends and also go out for sight and see. By attending such a kind of In-country program, student can not only improve their Chinese levels, but also can see China with their own eyes, and see the economic development situation in China, and to know more about daily life of Chinese people. After attending this kind of programs, people know more about China. 你们好，我叫 William Benton。呃、uh, ，我的中文的名字呃、uh, ，William， 呃、uh, ，我学习汉语了呃，十一个月，呃、uh, ，去年我去中国，我觉得很高兴，呃、uh, ，我要再去中国，嗯、um, ，我会说一点汉语，但是我的汉语不流利。啊、uh, ，我喜欢旅行和听音乐。谢谢。It's given us an opportunity to engage in exchange activities. That would have been quite difficult for us to facilitate without a Confucius Institute. So it really is a vehicle which gives us visibility, some additional resources, and a focus as a destination, which would have been difficult for us to achieve with just a single and very small Chinese department within a larger arts and creative arts school. Good, and you can also visit our、uh, website to get the latest information.、Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we also sponsor Tai Chi class. Tai Chi is a, a very important part of Chinese culture. We run this kind of class in order to let local people to know more about Chinese culture. The Tai Chi class has been run very successfully. Up to now, we have run four classes of Chinese Tai Chi. The next one is play lute. Follow up step. Sit back. Then constrain your two arms in front of you. Confucius Institute has got a lot of responsibilities. The CI would try to seize every opportunity to use the institute as a platform to promote the academic exchanges and、uh, other relationship between Charles Darwin University and Chinese partner universities, 
And also, we try to use this platform to organize some activities instructed by Hanban or other activities organized by the Anhui Provincial Education Department. Last year, we invited six musicians from the College of Music of Anhui Normal University、uh, to ask them to bring a lot of traditional Chinese music show for local people. That's one of the beauties of the Confucius Institute is that it isn't aimed just at university students, but at the broader community. In addition to this, last year we also invited several professors from Anhui Normal Universities. For instance, we invited Professor Zhao from the College of Tourism in Anhui Normal University, and also Professor Ma from the College of Economics and Business Administration of Anhui Normal University to deliver lectures on tourism in China, and also on. Microeconomic situations in China. In the system of monetary policy and the common currency policy, we achieved economic and social growth. The federal government's Asian Century White Paper identified Darwin as uniquely placed to benefit from increased ties to its northern neighbours. What's important in our region is to understand the people. We certainly foresee Darwin growing、uh, dramatically in the Asian century, and certainly the universities view that we have great opportunities to link into Asia even more strongly than we're doing now. Territorians used the first Cultural Day at the city's new Confucius Institute to take lessons in tea, talk, and tackling chopsticks. To build the friendship, it's very, it's very good for for people to know the culture. If you, know, if you know the culture, then people can understand each other. That's very important. Anhui Province has established a good sister relationship with Northern Territory since 2001. So that's the very important reason why Hanban has chosen Anhui Normal University as the partner university for the establishment of the Confucius Institute at Charles Darwin University. The Confucius Institute at Charles Darwin University came about through a very strong relationship between the Northern Territory government and the provincial government of the province of Anhui in China. So, in some ways, it's interesting because it didn't start as a university initiative; it started as a government initiative, but is now being very strongly and energetically led by the university. The Charles Darwin University Confucius Institute. Is one of the 13 Confucius Institutes in Australia. The purpose of organizing all these activities is to let people to know more about China.